day three on the IEC General Meeting in Frankfurt on our broadcast stage with our next guest. She has more than 15 years experience in the energy industry. In the standards community, she started as a young professional, contributing significantly to the IEC Smart Grid Mapping Tool. Manipai Bianca. Hi. Welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here on stage. Why, well, thank you. And um, in all technology uh, sectors, complexities are growing, like we can feel it every day almost, Absolutely. to provide support. Um, the, the SMB of the IEC established the Systems Resource Group, the SRG, and you are playing a key role as the convener. So can you share with us uh, SRG's role in IEC's system work? Absolutely. You know, the SRG is really here for the IEC as a support group. And, and to you mentioned, you know, there, um, there's a lot of complexities and we're dealing with bigger systems now. And so, you know, it's the SRG's role to provide, you know, best practices, some systems approach, um, tools and, and other training services to help those services be successful. Wonderful. So, as you said, so the SRG provides support, that's the main thing, um, with best practice and, and tools on how to analyze the system stakeholders' needs and use cases. What are some of the uh, advantages committees can uh, gain from the uh, SRG? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, um, systems committees, you know, they're dealing with like really complex systems. I mean, things like smart cities, smart manufacturing. So. Um, Sometimes they can get really overwhelmed, right? They get overwhelmed with, okay, where do I even start, right? And so, so you need a structure. Exactly, and so we, so we apply these systems approach and we help them and say, okay, here's, you know, here's step one, here's step two. This is how, you know, these are some tools that you can use. These are some techniques that you can use to break, start breaking them down. And so, you know, the advantage to them is that they, they become more objective on how they analyze the system, right? And they also are becoming more thorough and then they're more efficient because we provide them tools. That's amazing. You're providing a lot of support and they can be more efficient. Um, do you see any challenges with IEC systems work that SRG has to address? That's, that's always a good question. You know, I see them as opportunities. This, this is a great opportunity. So for no I challenge, opportunity. Opportunities. We think of them as opportunities. This is, you know, an opportunity for IEC to really transform. You know, the organization is transforming from a components thinking mentality to now a systems thinking mentality. And that, you know, and we need to change, right? And so there, there is some culture change, right? And we have to put our systems thinking hat on. Um, but, but this is a great opportunity for us to change. A little bit of mindset changing and then... Absolutely. Um, and you're going to support members, how can they get more information? I'm sure a lot of people now want to have more information. How yes. can they get it? Yes, absolutely. Um, definitely go to the IEC website. Um, you know, if you go to, to the SRG, my contact is in there. But you know what's coming, not too, not too long, um, we'll actually have an SRG website. And um, for, for systems committees, any committees that are working on um, big systems to really see all the tools and all of the information. So that's, that's coming, but for now, go to the IEC website. Great. So thank you so much for your insights. It's amazing, and um, I'm sure you're going to be successful. Um, we were talking to Manipai Vienkam. She's the convener of the Systems Resource Group. The uh, SRG supports committees to be more efficient and thorough in their evaluations. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. IEC General Meeting 2016 Connecting Communities Reinvent Standardization